Hello, in this video I will explain how to create a solid tool holder. First of all, we need to import the CAD model of the tool. The next step, it's very important, we need to place the tool holder in the correct direction. Uh, for the middle tools, uh, the rule is that the tool axis must be along Z and uh, when we look from the top, tool have to look down. So for this tool we need to transform it and rotate around X for example 100 degrees. And the next we need to locate the zero in the base of the of our tool holder. So I measure the level of this of this plane. It's 73 and so I would like also to translate uh, to transform minus 73 okay so right now our tool is in correct position so first of all we have uh, the global coordinate system in the base of the tool holder and the tool is located along Z axis the next step I can, uh, for example, color the faces. For example, these faces will be yellow. Uh, okay, and uh, okay, I would like to make all faces will be black, and uh, these faces and these faces will be yellow. this but uh, this one okay so after that I need to save this model into OSD file I select this one click right mouse save as usually I save it in uh, sportcam uh, libraries folder this is the folder the tool library is located. So set OSD file and select the name. It will be the name of my tool holder. Save it. Okay, the tool. The next step. Uh, so if I have uh, some operation, uh, let me make the tool invisible. After that I can delete, for example, delete the model and uh, so I have my tool here and uh, for this operation I select I have 2D contouring operation here and I set holder geometry file and select my tool open so we can see the tool here uh, actually it is the tool holder this tool will be used for the calculation this tool will be used for the uh, collision detection and uh, drawing for the visualization. So I have to do it the same. So that my tool diameter is uh, 20 and overhang is uh, 160. Uh, so when I calculate, uh, actually I can go back and uh, measure the size of my tool. If we check the distances, this is the bottom position of my tool. I see the box of my holder. So it must be the it must be the holder uh, overhang and define overhang value this one. So I can see the tool right now this button to disable to disable tool visualization so if I calculate the tool pass it will work with we can see it okay the main uh, the next step uh, how to create the turning tools I have uh, model for example this one import it 
yes this is my tool and uh, I also first of all I have to locate it in correct position correct position for the turning tools is uh, mm, uh, that the machine uh, that the insert have to look have to look on me and uh, machine machine insert have to lay in x y plane so to do it transform uh, uh, transform uh, rotate around x uh, this one uh, okay so it looks correct but insert is located is uh, looking not on me I need to transform and rotate 100 yes this one so it's good position and the origin also have to be located in the base of the holder after that I go inside and say that the, these two this color will be yellow this color will be black so and after that I can select my model and save as uh, this one yes. so I have uh, the turning operation right now and this operation have the tool holder generated by Sprucam uh, if I want to change it I can select the tool and define holder geometry file and select my tool this one yes we, c we can see it right now but the insert is taken from my tool uh, I have to locate the insert in the same position so if I delete for example my file we, we can see the tool in this position let's check the sizes of the geometry file for this tool I can look and check the sizes uh, so we can see that uh, in Y position it will be overhang first and this one will be overhang second it's the position of the corner okay after that go to uh, machining operation click parameters and say the length of my tool is for zero and this one three two. so this is my tool and uh, okay let me sec I let me check it and go holder geometry uh, yes it looks almost my tool but I need to change the parameters uh, I need to change the size of the insert it is 10 and uh, the size of rounding so okay and uh, that's all I think so right now we can see this is the insert that will be used for the calculation this tool is used for the collision detection and drawing and uh, I can disable this one so if I calculate the tool pass go to simulation yes and the first operation is this one nice and we can see it Uh, thank you very much for your attention.